Singapore is it's uh, central to Asia. It's a very well organized, safe country with great people. In terms of uh, a hub for yachting, uh, it's really the ideal spot. You know, there are many waterfront homes now with Sentosa coming up. Of course, there's this restriction on the size of yachts that, that can go into the cove. Uh, but then we've got the marina here, right? That's all uh, set to take mega yachts. Singapore being a hub will drive yacht ownership throughout the region, but will be uh, giving an importance to, an increasing importance to Singapore as probably the marketing center, the service center, and, and the hub for yachting enthusiasts. So we, we're looking at, at a short-term, very interesting future for yachting enthusiasts here in Singapore. Seeing the interest we've had so far, I'd just say it's very encouraging. I'll be here next year. You'll find me here, I hope, for quite a few more years to come. I think it's been a great event and great job for everybody all around, the organisers, the guys at One Degree. We're very grateful. Some of our biggest boats have been sold into this region. Um, we've sold our biggest trimaran, the 138, um, wow. down here, and also a 77-foot cat, so, plus some of our smaller boats. So, you know, it's, it's a huge market for us. We felt that it was a great opportunity for us to be able to get this booth. I've been uh, in the conference for the past two days and been able to learn a lot about the industry as well. Um, so, so far it is very, very promising. Next year, are you coming back? Um, definitely, definitely. It's a nice show. Good. We'll come back again. I would think this show will grow, uh, probably double in size by next year. Um, I, I do know they set this show up at the last minute and for just a few months of preparation they've done a great job but I think it's I think Singapore is going to be a, quite a yachting center in Asia actually. We are here at the first Singapore Yacht Show Gala Dinner and I'm here with Dan Balmer and he is representing Rolls-Royce, he's one of the sponsors for this event. So let's hear from him. For us it's absolutely important to be here, um, not only do we want to be part of something that's growing in Asia, but also we have uh, a similar brand affinity working also in Monaco, and, uh, so for us it was a natural step to be here in the Singapore Yacht Show. I've been just briefly visited today. Uh, I hope to spend more personal time there tomorrow with my family. Uh, but uh, exciting times for us, I'd say, in Singapore. I think it's the, the general buzz. I mean, there's a great confidence here in, in Asia in, in particular. And uh, what you see here behind you is actually people uh, showing their confidence, uh, enjoying the, uh, the growth of wealth in, in Asia and yacht shows uh, together with, uh, with uh, Rolls and Motor Cars and, uh, and the likes of Julius Baer Bank and so on uh, are a great natural affinity together.
Okay, we're back at the gala dinner here, and I'm with David, who is the CEO of Julius Bear, and uh, we have a few questions for him. Um, the association with uh, boating, luxury, and the association with developing Singapore uh, as a destination for lots of uh, events, uh, definitely targeted at a clientele like ours as well. Just going to ask you, Arthur, uh, how do you feel about the first day? Uh, it's been very exciting, and this is a, a gala dinner uh, on the first night after the official opening a few hours ago. And uh, we are celebrating tonight. A lot of lifestyle components, and I think most people will be very impressed with what we put together for the first show in terms of um, entertaining uh, entertainment concept. Uh, that being said, the feedback I got from, uh, from brokers and dealers was uh, pretty exciting. They were very surprised with the uh, quality of the visitors so far. So inviting all the uh, people within the secret community in the world to, to pay attention to what's happening here. Uh, it's fun, it's friendly, and the weather is good, so come next year.